hi guys welcome back to my channel so in my previous video i have started something called as resources in predicate argument structure so there i have discussed about frame net right so in this particular video i am going to discuss about prop bank okay so now let's see what is prop bank and how it's gonna work and what is the use of prop bank so before getting started with this video if you are new to this channel then please do subscribe to my channel and if you are already a subscriber then please do watch whole video and hit the like button so now let's get started see you can call it as prop bank or you can call it as propositional bank both are the same okay you can call it as prop bank or you can call it as propositional bank in short we are calling it as prop bank okay <clears throat> so what is prop bank i mean let's see this point prop bank is a corpus of text where each verb is annotated with its arguments giving us a clear idea of who is doing what to whom in a sentence see let's uh, take one example see take uh, we have a story called as kalki see i'm taking kalki because it is trending now uh, let's take a story of Kalki. Let's let's assume that it, there is one storybook, and that storybook is about Kalki. Okay. So in this particular storybook of Kalki, you will be having n number of characters, right? So every character will be having its own action. I mean, not only its own action, they might be involved in certain actions, right? So here prop bank is nothing but that particular storybook so whatever the storybook we have took that is kalki so that is nothing but a prop bank why it is considered as prop bank because that storybook it is having collection of text so that's why you considered it as prop bank that storybook is a prop bank and whatever the characters that are associated in that particular storybook so those characters you are considering it as arguments okay and i have said that each character is having its own action or it might be involved in certain actions so those actions are considered as verb okay so now let's see the second point why why we need a prop bank and why we need to establish all this uh, i mean connections between the verb and the roles because you have to understand the context of a particular sentence not only you but the computer needs to understand what is specified in that particular sentence so if and only if you uh, relate certain characters to this particular action then only the computer might get to understand what is the context of that particular sentence okay this is the action and these are the characters so now let's see the key elements what are the key elements that are involved in prop bank so the first one is predicate so what is mean by a predicate it is nothing but a verb so what comes under a verb any action any action that action will come under a verb so then what are the arguments arguments have already said that if you take the story of kalki then there might be different characters involved in that story so those characters are nothing but arguments you can consider it as roles okay see these arguments again characterized into two types so one is core arguments and the other is adjunctive arguments so what are the core arguments in general we can say that core arguments are similar to every action you specify suppose you take one action and what are the roles associated to this particular action i mean general general roles the one who is performing that particular action the one which is undergoing that particular action so these are the common roles if you give if you specify a certain action that then these are the common roles so these common roles are nothing but the core arguments then the second is adjunctive arguments so what are these adjunctive arguments it is not adjective it is adjunctive so adjunctive means <coughs> see uh, it provides the additional information additional information about what either it might be an action or it might be about the character so those arguments are considered as adjunctive arguments okay so let, you can understand this whenever we are discussing about any example okay 
So now let's take the example of a word operate. So there they have given the sentence, the doctor operates the machine. So in this particular sentence, first what you have to do is you have to write the verb. What action you are performing, the action you are performing is nothing but operates. Operates is the action here. Who is performing that action? What? Who is performing? Who are operating that particular machine? The doctor. So this operator is one role. And who is undergoing that particular action? The machine. So the thing which is being operated is another role and that is nothing but machine. So let's understand the working of this particular prop bank. So the first one, annotations. So what is this annotations? Prop bank annotates verbs in the Wall Street Journal section of the Pentry Bank. See this Wall Street General section is nothing but you just considered it as a database. Database of what? Text. So you will be having different texts. So that is considered as Wall Street General section. Then what is mean by Pentry? Pentry Bank is nothing but see you will be having different sentences and that particular sentences is annotated with syntactic representations. Okay. Like same thing. Eh? I mean, whenever a certain sentence is given, you are annotating with grammatical rules. All those things are nothing but a pendry bank. So, what this annotations will do is, each verb is tagged with the score arguments and adjunctive arguments. While there is a sentence and in that, a verb is there. I mean, a certain action is given. So, for that certain action, you will be tagging with its core elements. That is, it is same for all the actions. And the other is, you are going to tag it with adjunctive arguments. So, adjunctive arguments are nothing but the additional information about a particular action or a character. So, you can... So, example of this is when that particular action is done and in which location that particular action is done. So, these are nothing but the adjunctive arguments. So, the second is frame nets. So, whatever you annotated that particular verb with the arguments, you have to, next you have to do a frame set. That is, each verb has a frame set that lists possible argument structures it take along with descriptions of these roles. See, in that frame set, you have to annotate each verb with certain arguments and then you have to describe about that certain roles in the frame sets. So, now let's see another example of prop bank. Okay. So, in, in the previous example, we just saw how actually prop banks works if a specific sentence is given. So, in this, if a particular sentence is given, how you actually annotate how you actually do the prop bank annotations it is mentioned here so here the sentence is john gave mary a book so what action is doing here what action is doing it is the action is nothing but gave so this is sorry gave this is nothing but action performed in this particular sentence so next you have to specify the roles right so what are the roles involved in it so who is performing that particular action John is performing that particular action and um, I mean with whom he is performing that particular action with Mary and these two are doing an action with one thing what is that one thing that is nothing but a book okay see in predicate I mean in prop bank you have to mention the characters with arguments like give it argument 0 give it argument 1 and for this give it argument 2 so this is how you have to mention it and the one who is performing that particular action is considered as agent and the one who is with whom he is doing that particular action is nothing but recipient okay so the thing which is undergoing certain action is nothing but theme. See, these, these particular three arguments are called as core arguments. Because whenever you specify not only this particular example, you take other examples. Then these are the three main things that you are going to specify. Okay. So this is how you are going to build a prop bank annotations. Okay. So then how you will write this particular thing. I have said that uh, you have to tag 
verb i mean you have to mention how this particular characters are related to this particular verb right so this particular verb so this is how you have to tag then john is argument zero and mary is argument two and book is argument one sorry here you have to consider this as two this is one i'm sorry okay now let's see the core arguments again we dis will discuss see these are the essential participants these are the essential participants okay see the first argument the argument sh zero should be who is i mean typically the agent or door of the action who is doing that particular action comes under argument zero so who comes under argument one the entity undergoing a certain action that comes under argument one and the other arguments are the other roles i mean it depends on the sentence we have given okay now what are adjunctive arguments so they provide additional information about the action and are labeled as arg m th this is xyz so xy in the place of xyz you have to write some code i mean same you take kalki's movie as an example if you have watched kalki movie therefore each character in the complex they will be giving some code right like for deepika padukone they have given some 80 <laughs> so this is also same in the place of xyz suppose the additional information is about location then you have to write in short like hello c okay so these are the examples so i'm going to give only i'm going to tell explain you only the first two examples other you can understand it easily see if you are specifying the adjunctive arguments then you have to specify it as argm then followed by the specific code okay so this is an adj adjunctive argument so they specify argm then what the additional information is about the location so you have to write the code of that in short okay the same thing goes with this so they have specified the time though instead of time you can write tmp so you can understand all these things so there is no need of me explaining all these things okay see this is another example <coughs> same <coughs> if you want to do it do it so if you want so i can explain it uh, same thing so whenever a sentence is given let's write the verb in it i mean certain action what is the action again here the operates is the action the company operates stores mostly in iowa or nebraska so this is the uh, action that is performed and what are the roles in it see i have said that you will be having argument zero argument one and argument two as the same so what is the argument one the the thing which is undergoing the i mean which is performing that particular action who is performing that particular action this company so you have to write the company and then the argument two the thing which is undergoing that particular action is nothing but argument two so what is undergoing that particular action those stores the company stores so you have to mention the stores and argument two is it there i mean with which it is doing that particular action no they haven't mentioned here right so then you have to write there is the location mentioned by them so you can you have that that is considered as adjunctive arguments so for every adjunctive arguments you have to write argm uh, followed by specific code they have mentioned the location here so instead of writing the location you have to write loc so you have to mention what are those locations iowa and nebraska nebraska sorry this is about the prop bank so in the next video uh, i will be discussing another topic in predicate argument structure so until then thank you but 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 wait wait see before <coughs> leaving this particular video please hit that like button and comment if you comment what you will comment so comment like if you have watched the kalki or not okay and also tell me give me the feedback whether you are liking my content or not so that will give me the boost to create more content like this and 
see don't forget to subscribe i am watching i am observing that many of you were not subscribing and seeing watching my videos see please consider subscribing no don't forget to comment that you have watched the kalki movie okay so thank you thank you for waiting staying this long thank you Thank you.